Hi everybody, welcome to my podcast. I am Becky and I can be found as Becky Burns Gibson on Ravelry and Instagram. Today I'm going to walk you through how to thread the Brother Paysetter PS3734T serger. After cutting the threads from in front of your thread tree, sew off your threads by pulling to the left while you sew. Turn off the main power and the light switch for safety. Open the front door by pushing to the right and then down. Remove your old thread spools. Replace with new thread spools. Pull the thread off the spool and then directly up through the thread holder and then through the thread plate on the thread tree from the back to the front. Threading has to be done in the following order. The lower looper, the upper looper, the right needle, and the left needle. Pass the thread through the hole in the top of the machine. You're going to need a pair of tweezers to thread this machine. Pass the thread through the tension disc, which is in the channel next to the tension adjustment dial. Again, with the machine turned off for safety, Turn the hand wheel so that the mark on the hand wheel is aligned to the line on the machine. The direction of turning the hand wheel should be forward. Again, we're going to thread in order beginning with the lower looper. We've already brought it down uh, through the channel. We've got our tweezers. We're going to follow the blue color coding for five and then six and then seven. And really you can just bypass six here and go straight to seven. Then you go behind this metal piece and then up to eight. And on nine, you slide the lower looper threading lever to the right. The lower looper then moves into position And this is a little fiddly, but what you do is you thread the little triangle there. You put the thread behind it. And once you get it behind there, you kind of hold it down. And then you thread the eye of the looper. And then you just place your thread to the side.
turn your knob back so that the line on the machine meets the line on the knob. This will move the lower looper back into its position. Next, it's time to thread the upper looper. You're going to follow the green this time, the green instructions. Go to number five, to number six, and you're not going to use that number seven that's there at the bottom. You're going to go up to, to the seven because that's where the green one is. Okay, then you go over and you thread the eye of the looper. It's taken me a while to get this one threaded. Once you get it threaded, place your thread over to the side. Okay, next we're going to thread the right needle. Guide the thread down the channel and across through the threading points next to the pink color marks, following the numerical order. And you're going to place this um, thread to the right of the little metal piece, and then back behind the little metal hook above the needle. and then thread your right needle. Here I can't get the needle threaded without some light. And once I have a little light, I can thread it easily. I'll just have to be real careful while I'm doing it. Okay, next it's time to thread the left needle. Guide the thread down the channel and across through the threading points next to the yellow color marks following numerical order. And uh, the thread needs to go on the left side of the little metal piece. And then back behind the uh, metal hook that's above the needle. And then thread your left needle. Sorry you can't see because of my hands. Okay, now kind of pull your threads to the side. Close your door by pushing it up and then left. Now it's time to test to see if you threaded it correctly. 
lower the uh, the presser foot using the presser foot lever and so now you have a nice surged edge well thank you for joining me today as I showed you how to thread my serger a lot of people are intimidated by threading a serger, but once you know what to do, it's really very easy. And once you've done it two or three times, you can do it in a matter of just a couple minutes. So give it a try. I know you can do it. And until next time, bye-bye.